we're at this place called Saigon Tokyo. It's like this hole in the wall Chinese place. Sushi has really, really good sushi. And uh, so we're gonna get some food before we get to the gym. It's about 1.35 and we are starving. All I've had is a bagel this morning. We kind of rushed out of the house because I went to train a client at uh, his house. Um, but yeah, we haven't really eaten anything, so we're gonna grab something light before the gym. And I can't wait. Oh, sushi! <laughs> yeah, so as we were driving here, I was thinking, I don't want to be too full. And I ordered this. So I, I haven't had General Sows in a hot minute. So I got some General Sows with some fried rice and some covering them. I'm supposed to work out after this, but hopefully it'll work out. Thank you. Here's the sushi. So I just got one roll because clearly I did overdid it here. <laughs> Yami, what'd you get? Um, spicy tuna and salmon and cucumber. And spicy scallop. So we're on our way to the gym now. I actually saved where to go. I put it on the floor. I saved half of my food because halfway through eating it, she was like, you're gonna throw up. I already felt pretty full at that point. And I'm feeling even more full when I'm drinking this shit. <laughs> I'm full too, so. I don't so know how this workout's gonna go. Not sure how it's gonna work out for us. Might have made a bad choice <laughs> with Chinese. Hey, you live and you learn, right? You live out. and you learn. Finally made it to the gym. Gonna get ready to squat here. So, got everything here. Let's see. Knee sleeves, rock tape knee sleeves. I actually just ordered this, so I got this in the mail. Um, Baleo, just a basic weight belt. I don't like to use weight belts too often, um, so I've never really had my own. So, I got this. This is a size medium, um, and I have a 34 inch waist, and it fits pretty well. Um, I originally ordered the large, but I had to return it because the large. I was past all of the holes here. I was like, with the large, it would have pulled into like here, and I wouldn't have had been able to lock it. Um, gonna use this to kind of warm up here. And then the lifters. Reebok Lifter Plus 2.0s. So I don't think I've showed you guys exactly what I have for here. Uh, that's that. Let's get it. I'm still in my tights. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't think it was supposed to start till later. Look at that. So we just finished up. Leg workout was brutal. Squatting felt really good. I'm really happy with the belt so far. I just gotta break it in a little more. But heading home now. Gotta unlock the car. Heading home. Gonna eat. Drop the keys. Taking so long up. She's freaking her ass off. But yeah, so we're going home. It smells like Chinese food. There it is. Oh, it smells like Chinese food. <laughs> I just said that. That's the belt. That's the large belt that I ordered. I gotta send it back. So we made a spur of the moment decision just now, like five minutes ago. Um, we are going to Columbus, Ohio on March 3rd to the 7th. What is in, baby, what's what? in Columbus, Ohio on March 3rd to the 7th, 6th? Do you really want to know? What is it? 
The Arnold. We're going to the Arnold, people. <laughs> So we decided that we just need to pull the trigger. We've been looking at flights and um, things like that and been wanting to go really, really bad. And we finally just decided to do it. Why not just fuck it and do it. And um, She's putting in the credit card information as we speak and we are super excited. <sighs> I have something to look forward now. <laughs> forward to now, March. So uh, if any of you are going, leave a comment below um, and uh, Love to meet all of you, if you are. So, that's a fun new piece of information that's going on. Complete the purchase? Complete the purchase. Oh, I'm scared! Okay, that's right. The third through the seventh. We're gonna do it, people. We're doing it. Fate. Oh my god, We guys. did it! We just did a purchase online. So it is Wednesday, and it's like nighttime now. It's eight o'clock at night, and we haven't done much today. Um, well, we have been in terms of like going out and filming things, but we uh, got some editing done. We got a few videos up, which um, which is good. And one other big thing happened today. We uh, we're going to the Alley Fit Expo. <laughs> Babe, how excited are you? So freaking excited! We are so pumped. So, uh, we're getting there on Thursday the 21st in the morning at uh, just about noon. So, if anybody's going, let us know. Um, we are so, so pumped to get down there. Um, get over there. Yeah, get over there. Uh, so, other than like the videos and stuff that we did today, we made the decision and we booked two trips in two days. We booked the Arnold that we're going to in Ohio in March, and then we were just like, Screw it, we're gonna do the LA Fit Expo as well. So, just an update, that's all we've done today. Um, looks like this is gonna be a th another three day vlog. So, uh, hopefully get to the gym tomorrow and uh, catch up with you guys then. Good morning guys, it is 10.15 on Wednesday, Thursday. 10.15 on Thursday. And I just realized that in one week, Yami and I will be on a plane to LA. Which I'm so excited about. Um, woke up, like, thinking about it. Like, the opportunity that's going to be there to just meet people and network, and I'm probably backlit. Um, and to just be surrounded with so many people that are immersed and just interested in the same you know, lifestyle as we are. And it's just going to be fun to kind of get out of the everyday life and um, get to something like that where we have the opportunity to network with all those people. So um, I'm working today. Uh, i got to be there at 11, so i got to head out in a few minutes. Um, so I think I should be out at like 4. Uh, and then I believe we're going to the gym after. So um, I will catch you in a second. Back home. Work, it is, work was good. It is now 5.30. 5.30. Almost 5.30. Just got home, like I said, Yami prepared me this wonderful looking sandwich. Mm -hmm. And we're also eating some pretzels and hummus. No, you are. I am, but she, I'd did. be in plenty. <laughs> <laughs> so Bleaker does this really weird thing where she doesn't like pretzels. And so you'd think like something salty and crunchy that a dog would love it, but watch this. I'm gonna put some hummus on it. You think she'd just take the whole thing in her mouth and eat it, but watch what she does. Literally just <laughs> licking it off. The the weirdest dog ever. Look at that, it's gone. I don't it's, eat your peasant food. She clearly doesn't eat their peasant peasant, peasant food. <laughs> you, gonna, you gonna eat it? You're not gonna eat it, are you? I'm just gonna lick it off. Wow. Uh, so yeah, eating this. Hopefully gonna get out of here and go to the gym in about half an hour. Um, so yeah, that's that. We got chest and back today. So going to lift things up and put them down. <laughs> so we are getting ready to head to the gym and I'm super low on my protein for the day. And uh, I never do this, but I'm going to have a protein shake before the gym. Usually makes me feel like really full and I don't want to worry about like digesting while I'm working out. 
Um, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to hit all of my protein by the end of the day after the workout, so I need to try and make up some of it. So I'm having probably uh, three quarters of a scoop of each. Um, I'm trying a new protein. I got this at GNC when I was working there, <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I didn't tell you guys I quit GNC. Let's fuck that place. Um, <laughs> it just sucked. They pay you minimum wage, and then you have a chance to make extra money for that commission, but you'd see one person at the store like every three hours, so. Uh, but yeah, anyways, trying this new protein. Um, Rival Us, I think it's called. I don't know, because they make it different. Rival. Rivalus, I think. <laughs> right, I'm going with Rivalus. Um, so, about 20 grams of each chocolate and vanilla. Just to, uh, I just poured the chocolate and vanilla. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, so, yeah, just giving you guys an update. We are heading to the gym in a matter of minutes. And uh, I'll catch you guys there. Now, I don't know if anybody's tried this before, but I'm trying a new pre-workout. She got this in her gains box that she uh, got a couple times. Do you still get it? I don't know. No? I don't think we got one since we've been here, right? Right. Um, so, I'm trying this out. I'm not sure how it is. If any of you tried it out, let me know what you think of it. I'm about to... Uh, she got it in my shaker there. Um, I'm not going to drink it right now since I literally just downed my protein shake in about two seconds. So I'm going to bring it with me, drink it on the way there, and uh, just see how it feels. Hopefully it doesn't give me that itchy feeling. I hate that shit. Getting warmed up, doing a few light sets just to uh, get the blood flowing. It's chilly out, so I really want to make sure to get nice and warmed up really well before, uh, before actually starting to lift some weight. So I'm gonna drop my reps even more down to like five or six today. I was doing about eight, um, six to eight before. I'm gonna go down even more to five or six and see what I can push out. Um, so uh, let's get it and see what happens. <laughs> So moving on to some isolateral front lat pull downs right there. Um, if you guys notice while I'm doing this, so I'm actually doing a little bit of a side crunch. So instead of just pulling down with the arm, I'm actually adding a little bit of lateral, a little bit of lateral flexion. So I'm squeezing that lat just a little bit more. So if you guys do this next time, if you do like a regular lat pull down like single arm, and you're really able to concentrate on that one side at a time, really try adding in that just a little bit of a crunch right there. Um, you might feel it in your lat a little bit more. Um, so give that a shot. Uh, moving down probably three or four sets of eight here. If I'm seeing this weight correctly, She's going for 255 now. Her one rep max of all time.
Yeah. Come on. <laughs> that close. That close. You had to lock it out. That was so good. So here we are making my final staple meal of French toast before we get to bed. So it is 10:30 right now. <clears throat> gonna finish. Gonna finish cooking this. Go to bed. Get up and work tomorrow. Do it all over again, like I said at the gym. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys.